Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 96 of building the T-800 from the Terminator. Uh, let's get straight into the build, and we're adding the left kneecap and assembling a toe. Uh, now, this is obviously the kneecap, and this is obviously the toe. We have parts from last time. Now, this, if you didn't watch, I didn't attach to the rest of the body, because it's much easier to build the rest of the leg up around itself rather than trying to manipulate the entire huge body with everything attached so i'm not putting his arms and legs on until they're done and uh, so we have that from last time we've also got the foot from last time because that's where the toe's going to go uh let's get the parts to make sure we've got all the bits we need there's that 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 there's that a couple of those that and assorted rubber bits and screws and the plastic gear yeah, stopper thing uh, right, that's that. We also need super glue, a sharp knife and a cutting mat, and an Allen key, which was supplied in issue 26, which was a long, long time ago. But I do have a tool to do the job, so we're okay there. Uh, right, we're starting off with the foot assembly, the toe assembly. Uh, so we need that, that, and that. Uh, so how does this go together? It's been such a long time, I don't remember. Oh, this was the bit that I moaned about last time when they show it that way around, and then they're building it that way around, which just threw me. Uh, so we have that like that. We have the short rod there. Uh, now, there's two ends to the... I oh, see two ends, but, you know, two different ends to this. There's one with a long gap and one with a short gap. Uh, and the one with the short back, uh, gap you can have in two different orientations. So it says to make sure the shorter flanges go on that side. I think by the look of the picture, it's that way around. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to be, because actually only one of these is threaded. The side, this side is not threaded, the side, the other side is. So that goes in there like that. The Allen key, uh, the, the worm nut, the rub screw goes in there. So what I'm going to do is pop out my screwdriver piece, because I don't think I'm going to be using that today. And then I can just turn, tighten that into there. Uh, now, a good tip with these worm uh, grub screws, because they don't have a head on them, you can go through as far as you like. If you put your finger on the tip there, then you can feel it when it tightens down to be sort of flush. And you know you're good to, good to go like that. So that's that there. And then we need to get the one the other side, uh, which is also going to be the shorter one. Or is it? Is it going to be the short one or the long one? I don't know. I'm not looking. I'm just guessing. Uh, adjacent to the part where it's fitted, the shorter flanges are fitted to part 96.6. Yeah, we already knew that, but that's this one as well. Yeah. So that goes on there like that. But that doesn't fit with a grub screw. That fits with these. So we need to cut off uh, two of these, I think, for each bit. I don't recall. I'm going to cut off one. And then almost certainly come back and cut another one off in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to sand very gently the edges of that where I cut it off just to keep it looking nice. Uh, and then we're going to be using one or more of these. Let's take one out for now and leave the others in the pack. Uh, so let's have a look. We're fitting the plastic sleeve through the holes to hold them together. Cut a pin, push it in the plastic flame. Uh, yep, yeah, it's right. So that's going through there. Tight fit. But that's okay. That goes through there, okay. Push that down through there. Like that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yes, we're going to need another pin for the other side. No, we're not going to need another pin for the other side. Let me read the instructions more carefully and make sure I know what I'm doing. Plastic through the holes to hold them together. Cut a pin through the plastic sleeve. Place it and push it so it's placed in place. So yes, that's just going through there. Uh, I shall push down with the rubber ends of these to give a, a soft yet firm joint. Uh, Goes in there, it gives a joint that doesn't move on its own, but you can move yourself. That's fine, that's okay. So that's that. Uh, then we're getting this, and we're doing the same with that. So I need one more of those. I do need one more of these. 
and these are obviously being supplied for the rest of the toes uh or at least a few of them one two three four maybe yes i don't know how the rest of it is actually but we'll see we'll find out and go from there uh once again sand down a little bit get that through there get that through there wiggle it a little bit to get it lined up push that through a little bit further there we go then that through there push that home all well and good and there we have uh, something that doesn't look entirely indifferent to the expert tip that works for me i'm happy with that good uh, let's move that off to one side and then we can continue uh, with the other three pieces that we have left over uh, we're applying some glue to that to go onto there so i've got the glue um, being that it's quite a big piece i don't need to worry about fine application using a cocktail stick i can just put a little bit of glue on each of those drop that into place on there cool and that is going to go onto there like that so again we've got glue i'm going to put it onto this piece because that's going to be a little bit easier for me i'm going to glue a little bit on that top slot and the two posts and then apply all of that so that we have there done and applied and one more this to be a stuck to the bottom of that so again i'm going to put just a dab around all those holes and then get those lined up with the pins on this one wiggle to get it home and that as they say is that stage complete a bit like that there you go with that attached and that attached didn't do anything with that yet, but the toe will be going onto that. So there we go. Uh, that's that so far in the build. Uh, looking at the film this week is Looper. That was quite interesting. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. Very good fun. Uh, time to reassess. Uh, altering the past. Yeah, don't don't mess around with time travel. Never good things. Uh, and next week, we will be back in next week's issue with uh, the lower left leg, continuing building the left foot. So we're, yeah, build, building down from there and across from there. Probably not using that yet. We're going to be building another toe by the looks of what we've got here. Uh, so, yes, that's that. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the build. Do let me know in the comments if you've got any uh, helpful suggestions or hints or tips or let me know how your build's going along. Everything like that. That's what it's for. Feedback is always good. I shall see you soon. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.